Rain Garden Festival. One of my favorite things about the festivals on the first day is seeing what the new merch is like. Do they have flower ears like these? Do they have, what do they have? I need to know. So come along with us and let's see what they have. Alright, so here we are. We're in the creation shop. This is where all the merch is going to be for the Flower and Garden Festival. They do have it all over the world showcase, lots of different kiosks and booths as well, but this is going to be the area where they have pretty much all of it. So we're in here and let's see what we find. I'll say at first glance, it looks a little weird in here. Doesn't it feel weird to you? I don't know what it is. I feel like there's stuff missing. Hmm. Well, at first glance upon entering here, it's very orange. Very, very orange. <laughs> it's like orange bird uh, merch. Everything's orange. I'm actually wondering if um, there's some additional Flower and Garden merch maybe in the Odyssey building or somewhere else because I feel like it doesn't seem like there's a lot. So we'll see what we got here and then we'll head over there next. So the first thing I look for in uh, when I'm looking at new merch uh, at the beginning of the festivals is what ears do they have? And I feel like I didn't see all the ears that they're gonna have because I don't see any with flowers, but I do see orange bird and they have orange bird ears every single year. And these are actually really cute. Um, I like these a lot. They're lounge fly. So that means they're more expensive, which is kind of annoying. It's really annoying. It's, they're $44.99. Um, they're leather. They're really nice um, in quality. I think the colors are really cute. Um, it's, but I love the orange, but I, I don't know what to even say this is. It's like a dirty mint green. Like that's, a, I don't know, that's what color it is. Um, but as you see, it says lounge fly on the side, but they're $44.99, that's a no-go for me. Um, I just think that's too much for ears. But I actually think this hat is really cute. This is $29.99. Um, it has orange for, for the Florida original. I like orange, I'm weird, and I like green. Green's my favorite color. I don't know, I just think this is really cute. Okay, I picked this up because I thought it was really cute and a really cute idea. It's a lantern. Um, I don't think I can turn it on because I think I would have to pull out some sort of strip or something to turn it on. But I just, there's a light in there. And it says Epcot International Flower and Garden. It's not too big. I don't like to get things with a lot of like the print on it. Um, and I was like, oh, that's a really cute um, like souvenir. But then I saw it was um, $34.99. I kind of think that's a lot. Maybe $25 or $20. But I don't know, $34.99 seems like a lot for this little lantern. Okay, so I took a little bit deeper look at this lantern and I figured out that it's actually, I know why it's so expensive. It's because it's for outdoor, so it's made out of materials that'll actually survive rain and wind and thunder and all that stuff. So it's an outdoor lantern and it's solar powered. There's a little solar power thing on top, so you don't even have to have to put batteries in it. There's already batteries in it. Uh, and they're, they recharge based on the solar power. So. I guess 35 bucks really for this little LED light lantern that you can hang outside that will supposedly last in the elements and recharges itself. It's pretty good. 35 bucks. So I found two shirts. They had the spirit jersey and everything that was like $80 or $85. Um, I didn't, those aren't my thing, so I didn't pick it up. They all look the same, just with a different print um, for the festival. So I didn't pick it up, but I did pick up these because I thought the colors were really cute. Like I said, I like orange, and um, this is kind of like a peach with orange on it. And I thought that was really cute. What I don't like about it is that um, it's made really wide and then it kind of goes, I mean, it kind of goes in for a woman for the waist, but um, I don't know. It's just not my type of fit. Um, I wish it was just made a little bit different, but I think it's so cute. Look, it has like the different countries like on it. Um, and then it says International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. It's $40. $40. I think that's a lot. I think it should be $30, but that's just me. And then there was this one, which is $34.99. It's $5 cheaper. Once again, I think this should be $30 or $25. Um, but that's just me. But I think this is really, really cute. It's made for any type of body. Like, it doesn't go in at the waist like the other one did. And it's just made long. Like, this is a medium. They didn't have any smalls. Um, they only had medium and large. But, like, it's really long. Um, I could wear this as a dress. <laughs> so
so just know that. But I think the colors of it's really, really cute. I just think that's adorable. Um, $34.99 is a, li a lot, though. My opinion. Okay, so I think we figured it out. So I was a little confused in the beginning because I saw, like, lots of orange bird stuff over there. Hey, just put that anywhere. Um, lots of orange bird stuff, a big orange collection you can see over there. And I was like, is that it? But then we realized that right over here, in this section over here, there's a bunch of, like, white pastel blues and pinks and stuff over there there's another little collection so we'll take a look at both of these but i was a little confused for a minute um there's actually a decent amount of stuff they have two separate lines for the flower and garden in the international in the creation shop i have to do this because i'm like huh? um um and this is one of them i don't really like it um the hat's okay but like am i i don't plant i have a brown thumb figuratively and literally um but I don't even remember what this has on it. I just know it's $34.99. Steve can show you. As you can see, it has butterflies in the co different countries um, on it. And like a ribbon, the ribbon that's hanging off. And by the way, it is squeezing my head because I have a really big head. So I'm going to take this. Actually, I'll talk. I'll just be brain dead after this. It's fine. Um, it's. I didn't really pick up very much from this because I didn't like it really. Um, but I thought this was cute. Um, it's like a little sign for your garden, I think. Um, I don't know why it's $35. Folks, you can get these at Hobby Lobby for like $5 or less. Um, so, I mean, if you wanted a souvenir, though, for, from your trip. But, I mean, it's okay. It says Epcot International Fire Garden, and the stick thing is black. Go to Hobby Lobby. Um, and also, I thought this was kind of cute. Do I look like a gardener? Um, like you, I think, I think, because I'm not a gardener, so I really have no idea. Like, what is this for? I believe it's an apron. Is this not is a... not an apron. They oh. have an apron. He oh. just said this was an apron. Well, I thought it was like a gardening apron. He just said this was an apron. Well, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Does that look like an apron? No, it's like a, it's a satchel. See, um, there's many. And it says International Flower and Garden Festival. I don't know what all you planters and gardeners out there, what's this for? Do you tie it around your waist? No. Because you just put this over your shoulder. And I think you just put your little weeds and stuff in there, like when you're weeding. Or your flowers you pick. Or something. I don't or know. Or planting. Or planting. I don't know, because I've never really planted anything in my life. So, I just thought it was kind of cute. But that's about it for that. Didn't really like it. So Candy wasn't a huge fan of this, uh, these shirts here. But I do think that mini looks very adorable. It's almost worth buying this shirt just because of the cute mini on it. I wish they had more stuff with this mini on it because she looks very cute. So I don't know why. They should have They should have used her more, I feel like. Don't you feel like they should have used this cute mini and more of the stuff? Because she's cute, but like she's the shirt's cute. just okay. It's just not really my body. Yeah. Well, I think she's cute. How much is this shirt? Arm and a leg? Let me see. It doesn't even have a price. That's how expensive it is. It's probably it's probably like eighty bucks, yeah. So I, I I'm not really a lounge fly backpack kind of girl, but um, I think this one's cute. If you like those that kind of thing, um, it has the orange bird. I don't know. Once again, I just like I think the orange is cute in this sort of like dirty mint teal color. I don't know. Um, and it has little like oranges on the yellow straps. I think that's cute. It's very very springy. Um, and on the inside, I don't know. These are always really hard to open. <laughs> it has the orange bird and flowers. <laughs> or no, it has the orange, oranges and flowers. That's really hard to see. But that, like, hurt my arms. I'm like, oh. Um, so, and then it has this little zipper part compartment on the front. I'm not even going to try. And with the little orange bird peeking out, which is cute. It is $88. Same price as, you know, all lounge flies, really. So... It's cute. Okay, hey, so I know it's going to come as a complete shock to you, but they have a tumbler for the Flower and Garden Festival. <laughs> oh, another tumbler. It's $35. It's all plastic. It's kind of cute, though, I have to say. It says Orange Bird, Original Florida Orange Bird, Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. It's cute, I guess. Um, I do like it, but man, 35 bucks. I just, I mean, how many tumblers can you get? Like, how many people watching this video have, like, a thousand tumblers? And what do you do with them? Do you have, like, a whole shelf? Do you have a whole separate kitchen that houses all your tumblers? Because I feel like there's tumblers at every single event, festival, everywhere. And people are always buying them. Like, I don't believe you just have, like, one tumbler. I know I know you have, like, a hundred. Where, where are they at? 
Uh, but it's cute. So another tumbler. They also have some mugs. Let's take a look at those. Here they are. Um, which is kind of, I think the thing that's kind of cute about this mug, though, <laughs> low key. So it's a little mug, but on top of it, it has this little orange thing. So you can like actually squeeze freshly squeezed orange juice into it. It's got the little holes in the top. How much is this though? Twenty four ninety nine. That's not too bad. It's cute. So that's kind of. Um, I feel like that's kind of creative. I like that actually. And then there's this weird ceramic milk thing. You know, if you want that for some reason. I don't know why. It says Orange Bird on one side. I don't understand why this one's a different color, though. Look. See that? Like, that one's orange, and this one's, like, red. And quality control is a little off there. Uh, but, I don't know, it's like a weird milk thing. Twenty, It's 30 bucks. I don't know. That's not for me, but it's kind of cute. Some people will like it. And then, of course, they have a little potted plant thing. So if you wanted an orange bird, I'm assuming this would be for interior, like inside, it's 35 bucks. I don't know if anybody actually uses this for plants or if they just use it to put like their keys in, but hey, I don't know. It's kind of cute. It's pretty heavy. So it's like, it's like heavy duty, almost like a clay pot. I don't think it is clay. I think it's like rubber or something, but it feels heavy. Oh, okay. There's a few more things over here. What do we got? Oh, we have a little decoration, a little Christmas ornament of the orange bird. I don't even know how much this is. The ornaments are always expensive at Disney. 25 bucks for an ornament. I don't know, that's a lot. That's a lot for an ornament. I'm used to going to Target and getting like cute ornaments for like six bucks, but you know, hey, I know, I'm cheap. I'm also seeing this pass holder exclusive, annual pass holder bag. It's got the, uh, this is like spikes, like honeycomb. Spike is the mascot for the Flower and Garden Festival, so it makes sense. But does it say Flower and Garden Festival on it anywhere? I don't think it does. I don't see Flower and Garden. But it is, it is Spike, and Spike is the mascot for the Flower and Garden. So it makes sense. But this is another Lug brand. So again, expensive, I'm going to assume. Yeah, 125 bucks for this bag, this little like purse bag thing. I don't know where Candy's at. She needs to explain what this, this is because I don't know if this is a purse or a bag or... I don't know, is it, is it a diaper bag? It looks like a diaper bag, but I don't think it is. Uh, what's it say right there? Oh, there it is. Inside is where it says Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. Ah, I see now. Okay, well, that's cute. I can't tell. I think it's just a regular, like, some sort of bag. Carry bag. Could be used for a diaper bag, though. It's kind of cute, but 125 bucks is a little bit too rich for my blood, quite honestly. Hey, what's this over here? Limit two per guests. Ooh, I don't know, some sort of, I don't know what this is. What is this? It says Lug on it. Lug brand, I guess. Must be a popular brand. I'm going to assume that means it's expensive. Yes, it's $60. Ooh, 60 bucks. What is this, like a cooler? Like a little, like, grab-and-go lunch, like, sandwich cooler or something? Let me take this over to Candy here because this is not my area of expertise. What is this? I don't know. What is this thing? What is this? I guess, is Lug like a big, like a brand, a big popular brand or something? Yeah, did you see there's a special pass holder Lug right there? I don't like is it a diaper bag? It looks like a diaper bag. Do you feel like it looks like a diaper bag? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like it either. I didn't like it either. Um, I think it's a crossbody bag. It's a crossbody, like, purse. It's just not hooked. And, like, and it's, like, kind of like windbreaker material. And, you know, you can just put your phone, whatever, in there. Um, and it looks like you can put it on your belt, too. But does anybody really ever do that? I see this um, on lots of things frequently at Disney. Like, do people put stuff on their belts? I don't know. Maybe some people do. Mechanic. I don't know. Somebody working on a car. Put your hammer in there. But I don't really see people putting these on their belts very often. I don't know. Just little compartments. But that's all it is. It's like a crossbody bag. It, it like, goes across, like, here. Oh, that's kind of cute. They always have special pass holder merch. I always say I think it's weird. I don't need to announce that I'm a pass holder. Like, nobody cares, but this shirt's actually kind of cute. I don't know. It's not really my style. Kind of grandma-ish a little bit. But I think the bee's so cute. And the lavender and this kind of, like, goldenrod yellow. I don't know. It's kind of cute. But it's $34.99. But I will say it's softer material than the other t-shirts and there's actual embroidery on it. Um, just kidding. Just kidding. There's no embroidery. It shouldn't be $34.99. $30 maybe. Grandma? 
I don't think it's grandma. I think it's cute. Look. Look how cute Spike is. And there is embroidery. It's right here. So maybe. Wait, is this? Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't think it's grandma. I think it's cute. It's grandma. It's cute. Spike's cute. For all the pin fans, we've got the Epcot Flower and Garden Disney pin. Uh, they got Spike there. I think Figment was, they had a Figment one last year, $17.99. Lots of pins, but man, I, I have to tell you, you can spend some serious money on pins, that's for sure. Like 20 bucks a pop, 30 bucks a pop, depending on the type of pin, man, you can spend some serious money on some pins. Uh, man, what a racket that is, but you can also trade them. So that's kind of a cool thing, once you get a good collection of them, you can trade them with other people. You're like, oh, I'm getting kind of tired of my Epcot Flower and Garden 2024 one, let me go trade it in for, I don't know, Epcot Garden Flower and Garden 2023 one with somebody. So that's kind of a cool thing about them. I do like that there's that community of like trading, keeps them always fresh, but I don't know. I feel like I would never trade. I feel like I would just hoard them all and spend like thousands of dollars on pins. It's cute. Um, I don't know why it's 23 bucks. Look how small it is. Look, it's tiny. It's $23, look. It's the little rinky dinky. And it doesn't even say Epcot Flower and Garden Festival on it. It's just an orange bird stuffed animal, so. It's cute. Hey, take it easy. It's cute. Hey. But I don't know that I would. Okay, maybe I'll get it. Yeah, yeah, now I'll get it. See, now you like that. Okay, yeah, he's probably worth getting. He's kind of cute. He's kind of cute. Still a little bit expensive, though. Well, that's most all of the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival merch for this year. What'd you think of the collection this year? The mini, uh, I mean, mini's cute, but that white and pink line is not my favorite. And I love pink. It's one of my favorite colors, but no. Um, the orange bird line is really cute. I love the colors, though. Um, orange, green, lime green, peach. I love all that, and I think it's really cute. The pass holder merch, um, it's okay. I mean, the, I think uh, Spike is really cute, the bee. And I like bees. But other than that, it's kind of grandma. But that's all. You keep saying that was grandma. Yes. I don't feel like it was grandma. It's kind of grandma. She has better style than I do, though, so I couldn't really say anything. But I don't feel like it was grandma. I think it's cute. Um, yeah, I like Spike, too. I feel like it was um, a cute, cute line. I feel like it was cute overall. I don't feel like it's my favorite line of all the festivals. So anyhow, overall, it was it was great. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to check out our other Flower and Garden. We were here for opening weekend, where we go through all the topiaries and the food and the snacks and all the different things that are there here for this festival. So you're going to want to check that out. I'll link to it below. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Tell us what you think about the merchandise. Did you like it? Was it just ho-hum? Was it okay? Were you here and you bought it all and you're wondering why we've been dogging some of it? Let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, until we see you next time. No boy. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.